Hello everyone, my name is Calvin and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing how you can take advantage of a new tool to perform a comprehensive upgrade workflow of Palo Alto Networks firewalls and Panorama appliances. Let's say that you're the network security administrator for your organization. You've been given a very short timeline to upgrade your PanOS firewalls and Panorama appliances. As a network security expert, you likely know how trivial the actual upgrade process can be for one or two firewalls. You will likely want to capture some details about the network environment beforehand, back up the configuration on the remote firewalls, and perform a series of readiness checks to make sure that the firewalls are ready for upgrade. Now, as valuable as this workflow can be, it can quickly become an overwhelming challenge when you're operating at scale. So if you found yourself in this situation, or if you're hoping to prepare yourself for such a request, then I hope that you'll find today's video helpful. We're gonna be showing how you can take advantage of the PanOS upgrade tool to automate the entire process, allow you to perform the tasks safer, faster, and with more consistency. We're gonna kick things off with an overview of the PanOS upgrade tool. We'll show you how to install the tool using Python's package manager, and then we'll examine the various methods of issuing upgrades through subcommands and highlight how to adjust the script settings and inventory. A demonstration of the tool will help showcase the workflow that you'll be executing, and then we'll wrap up the video by showing how to find the documentation and make sure that the package stays up to date. So I hope you're ready. And while this won't be as technical or as deep as some of my educational videos, I'm hoping that it'll still be enough to help you get up and running with the PanOS upgrade tool. So let's go ahead and get started. In this overview of the PanOS upgrade tool, we're going to zero in on some of its most compelling features and some of its current limitations as of recording. A key feature of the PanOS upgrade tool is its network state snapshot capability. This function provides a detailed before and after comparison of your network, capturing critical data like the network interface status, routing tables, ARP tables, etc. And after the upgrade, it's going to produce a PDF report that highlights all the changes, offering clear insight into what's different after the firewall rebooted. For more details, the tool's documentation includes a full list of snapshot options. The tool's readiness check feature is crucial for preparing your firewall for an upgrade. It checks for essential conditions, such as sufficient storage space for the new PanOS image and ensuring that there's no staged configurations in the candidate config. These checks help ensure that the firewall is ready for a smooth upgrade process. The tool also emphasizes the importance of configuration backups, automatically saving a local copy of the firewall's configuration before and after an upgrade. This feature acts as a safety net though, enabling you to compare the changes between OS versions and revert if needed, ensuring that you understand exactly how an upgrade impacts your environment. The PanOS upgrade tool stands out for its adaptability allowing you to customize every setting to match your specific needs, whether it's choosing which things to snapshot, setting readiness check criteria, or tweaking the timers and behaviors of the script. The tool offers extensive flexibility. This customization ensures that the upgrade process is tailored for your network and your organizational requirements. It's crucial to mention that the tool has not been tested in all possible deployment architectures as of the recording of this video. While it supports active-passive HA configurations, it hasn't been validated for active-active or clustered firewall setups, so its functionality in those scenarios isn't guaranteed. PanOS upgrade tool has also not been tested against any log collectors. I apologize, I just don't have any in my environment. So it's safe to suggest that the tool might not work for those deployments either. But all in all, the PanOS upgrade tool is more than just a utility. It's a complete solution that empowers the network administrators with the insights and the controls needed for a confident and precise upgrade process.
Well, let's get started with installing PanOS Upgrade on our computer. In this section, we'll cover the creation of a Python virtual environment and install PanOS Upgrade from PyPy. To set up and activate a Python virtual environment, first create it with this command. What this will do is it will isolate your project dependencies from your host operating systems and will create a dedicated PanOS upgrade environment. Now to activate the virtual environment, you're going to be using this command if you're on Unix or Mac OS or Linux, or use this command if you're operating on Windows. Now I do realize that I am glossing over the value and the reasoning behind using a virtual environment with Python. So I highly encourage you to just take a moment, do a little bit of Googling or ask ChatGPT on why virtual environments are required when working with Python. Once you've got your virtual environment activated, it's time to install the PanOS upgrade tool. Just type pip install PanOS upgrade into your terminal and it'll go out and install all the packages dependencies itself. To make sure that you've set everything up correctly, you can simply type PanOS upgrade dash dash help and you should see a list of the available subcommands. This quick check ensures that the tool is ready to go and you're all set to dive into the upgrade process. In order to effectively utilize the PanOS upgrade tool, it's crucial to understand its core subcommands, firewall, panorama, and batch. Each of these commands serves a distinct purpose for the upgrade process, catering to different deployment scenarios. The firewall subcommand is designed for upgrading an individual Palo Alto Networks firewall. When using this command, you'll be prompted to enter specific details about the firewall, such as its host name or IP address, username, and the PanOS version that you wish to upgrade to. This subcommand is ideal for targeted upgrades when you're focusing on a single standalone device or when the firewall is not managed by Panorama. If you're using Panorama for centralized management, then the Panorama subcommand is designed to upgrade the actual Panorama appliance. And the prompts that you'll encounter are very similar to those within the firewall subcommand. It's crucial to understand that while the tool can manage Panorama upgrades in HA setups, this subcommand is currently designed to only target one device at a time. So make sure that you specify the correct Panorama appliance for each upgrade. The batch subcommand is ideal for executing upgrades across one or more firewalls that are managed by a Panorama appliance. It enables the routing of all the upgrade commands and workflows through the Panorama appliance to the remote device, allowing for the upgrades to be applied to one or more firewalls at a time. For firewalls configured in HA mode, it's recommended that you utilize the batch mode because it's equipped with specific safeguards and procedures designed to effectively manage active passive HA setups. Now when running in batch mode, you're gonna see a list of devices that are currently connected to Panorama. And you can choose which of these devices to upgrade by entering a single row ID, multiple IDs separated by commas, or a range of IDs. The interface will display the HA status of each firewall and will notify you if preempt is activated. Preempt might lead to a short interruption when the lower priority device within the HA pair reboots and reconnects to the pair. Type the word done when you've completed your selection. You'll be prompted with a list of the selected firewalls and will be asked if you approve of the list. Now there's one other thing to cover when discussing the upgrade subcommands. And that is by default, the script is gonna operate in a dry run mode. 
This mode goes through the entire upgrade workflow without actually installing the PanOS version or rebooting the devices. It's an invaluable tool for preparing and staging PanOS versions, readiness checks, config backups, and network state snapshots in advance of a formal change control procedure. This will help ensure that you have readiness without impacting the device's operation. When prompted at runtime, if you want to actually do the installation process, make sure that you select in when prompted for dry run. The firewall, panorama, and batch subcommands are the primary ways of upgrading devices with this tool. But it's also worth exploring the inventory and settings subcommands, which provide further customization and efficiency. The inventory subcommand generates an inventory.yaml file in your current working directory, which outlines the firewalls intended for an upgrade. This approach is especially advantageous for declaratively managing your firewall selection, offering a more streamlined alternative to navigating the menu prompts in batch mode. It's ideal for environments with numerous devices as allows you to set and recycle your choices for subsequent upgrades. During the execution of batch mode, the script checks for an inventory.yaml file in the current working directory. If found, the script targets the firewalls listed in this file for upgrading, thus skipping the selection menu entirely. The settings subcommand gives you control to alter the default operations of the tool. Using this command, you can toggle specific readiness checks on or off, change the snapshot configurations, or tweak other operational settings of the tool. These modifications are stored in a settings.yaml file, which the tool looks for in the current working directory when executing the upgrade subcommands. If a file exists at runtime, its configuration will replace the default settings of the script. In this section, we'll walk through a demonstration of using the PanOS upgrade tool in batch mode. To begin, we execute the command PanOS upgrade batch. This initiates the upgrade process for the devices connected to Panorama. The script will prompt for the essential details, the hostname or IP address of Panorama, username and password, and target version of the remote firewalls. Now, during this process, you'll encounter a menu selection screen for choosing which devices to upgrade. This screen appears because there isn't an inventory yet YAML file in my current working directory. If there was, it would automatically supply the list of devices to upgrade, bypassing this manual selection step. Now, for our demonstration, we'll upgrade both a high availability pair and a standalone firewall. We can make the selections by using a combination of a range and a single ID, specifically 1-2 for the HA pair and 4 for the standalone firewall separated by a comma. Type in the word done when you've made your selection and you'll be prompted to agree or disagree on those firewalls that have been selected. Now the intricate logic that powers the script including how it manages HA pairs and standalone devices, is detailed within the tool's documentation. This resource is an excellent reference for understanding the script's capabilities and its configurations.
As we can see, the tool has effectively completed the upgrade of our chosen devices. It verifies that the upgrade of each device has made it to the specified target PanOS version. It captures a new set of snapshots and configurations post upgrade and will generate a PDF report detailing the differences observed. Now to conclude our session today, we've delved into the powerful PanOS upgrade tool, exploring its key functionalities and subcommands like firewall, panorama, and batch, alongside its utility of the inventory and settings features to customize your upgrade processes. It's important to note that this tool does not come with official support, except what's available through the standard GitHub issues request form. For in-depth guidance, best practices, and more detailed explanations, I highly recommend exploring the official documentation website at this link. And for those that are interested in contributing, reporting issues, or exploring the tool's code base, head over to the official GitHub repository at this link. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in navigating the PanOS upgrade tool. Your feedback and questions are always welcome, so don't hesitate to reach out through the comment section or by opening up a GitHub issue. Until next time, take care and happy upgrading.